Hey, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. And today we're going to go over three of the virtual mailbox services. Anytime mailbox, earth class mail, an iPostal one, which is not the best name in the world, but it looks good in a URL. So these three services are services I have personally used and we're going to go over what they are selling on their websites how they are different and the pluses and minuses of each. So let's go ahead and start with Earth Class Mail because it's the one that actually is a bit different. Earth Class Mail was the first, first virtual mailbox service I personally used. Before this, I had UPS Store and then I think before that I had a PO box. So Earth Class Mail, I started out with, at the time it was not owned by LegalZoom, now it is owned by LegalZoom. And one of the reasons I liked them at that time was because my mail went to an address in San Francisco and I could even go there and pick it up. Then they changed how they do their business. And as time went on, I decided to no longer go with them. So why is that? So virtual mailbox services, how they work generally is that you get to pick an address that's your address. So let's look at their addresses that they have. Okay, they have addresses in many, many different places. And let's go ahead and zoom in on California. Their address is in San Francisco, it looks like, I think. I'm trying to zoom in. This is a very slow zooming. Um, okay, let's say California. So San Francisco, they have an address in San Francisco. And you can either get a P.O. box, which I don't know why you do that. I don't just get a P.O. box or 548 Market Street. And there you can get mail, UPS, and DHL. For some reason, you can't get FedEx, interestingly enough. So you might think, oh, well, that's my address that I'm going to use. And then they'll give you like a unit number. Then I could go there and pick my mail up. That's where my mail is going to go. And the answer is no, that is not how it's going to work. Also, you can't get FedExes there, which I think is slightly weird. How Earth Class Mail works is that all of the mail actually goes to Oregon. So it first, I think, goes here, and then it goes to Oregon, and that is where they open up the mail and scan it and everything. So let's go in, and I'll show you their facts, the frequently asked questions. Do, 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 do. Who opens and scans my mail? All the postal mail we receive on your behalf is forwarded from the chosen address to our centralized operations facility in Beaverton, Oregon. There, the people scan the outside and then the inside and outside, turning it into a PDF. So the scanning totally makes sense. That's how virtual mailboxes work. But it all goes to Oregon. That takes time. And this was the thing that drove me nuts when I was using Earth Class Mail. So what happened was, is that my mail would go to San Francisco and then it goes to Oregon and then they open it. And then let's say, or they just scan the outside and let's say I need that mail. Then they have to mail it back to me in California to my you know home address where I'm working. It would take me like sometimes two weeks to actually get mail. It was absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. That may not matter for you. For you, you may not need things super quick. And the fact that it has to go back and forth doesn't matter. I also think it's an issue, the fact that their addresses, some of them only can get post office because it's a PO box, which I don't really see the point of paying earth class mail for a PO box, just get a PO box. But, and then some of their addresses can't get every kind of service. So at that address in San Francisco, you can get UPS and DHL and post office, but you can't get FedEx, which you might not know if you're getting a FedEx. And this actually happened to me <laughs> with them is that someone FedExed me something and I couldn't get it. So I do not recommend Earth Class Mail unless you very specifically need their exact services and it really is a good match for you. So maybe having an address in Oregon even is totally fine. You're in Oregon. That may make a lot of sense, but I, I don't really see how it would be a good fit for most people. It does seem like they're, they are um, now owned by LegalZoom, which may be a plus or minus for you. And they are have more centralized facility. And that's very different than Anytime Mailbox or iPostal One, as well as many other different services. Earth Class Mail is centralized. 
So they have one facility where everyone's scanning the mail, opening it or whatever. That means they're going to have a lot more security controls in theory than these other companies because they actually do the mail stuff themselves. So let's look at how they're different from Anytime Mailbox or iPostal One as two other examples. So Anytime Mailbox is a service that I'm actually currently using right now for one of my business mailbox addresses. Now, how this works, as and also how iPostal One works, is Anytime Mailbox and iPost One are not the ones actually opening up your mail. They are not the ones who own those addresses. They have contracts with all kinds of little mom and pop shops that are little mail places. And you could go to the mail place and just get a mailbox there, or you can contract through this. The reason I like contracting through this is because you get the virtual aspect the scanning of your mail, and then you could have them open it up and scan the inside of it if you want to have them forward it to you. You don't have to go there in person, but you could just go to the address and get one in person if getting something in person works for you. So anytime mailbox, let's look and see, let's just say San Francisco, how many addresses, no, I don't, I want, don't, I want San Francisco in California. How many addresses are there? Okay, so you can see we have one on Geary Street, Fillmore, Bartle, Castro, many different addresses, but they have different prices, wildly different prices. We got $11.99, 20 bucks a month, $10.99 a month, $9.99 a month. So each of these are going to have very, very different services and pricing because these are all separate companies, right? Anytime Mailbox is just the, you know, Uber or Lyft of it, where each one of these mailboxes is a different company that's gonna have their own set of rules. So let's just randomly click on one of these. Let's click on the one that says top rated, okay? So top rated, 18 Bartol Street. What do they do there? They will open up a scan, forward, check, deposit, recycle, shred. They do not have local pickup available. So you, if you get something there, you can't go there and pick it up. So they have different plans that have different things included. Let's look at the $19.99 per month. You can have three names on it, and then you just get 12 pieces of mail, then you, each additional one is a dollar. They will open up and scan five per month. They will forward things for a dollar, but then they charge for shipping, which I don't have a problem with charging for shipping. Check deposit is $5. Shredding is 25 cents. Then they store things for 30 days and then they charge you if you go over that. But you can see they have many different plans available and you could figure out which one works for you. But let's look at one of the other ones. So let's look at one that costs $10 a month. This one has local pickup, but does not have check deposit. And it is at a Union Post SF Incorporated. So for the lowest priced one, $9.99 per month, you get 30 pieces of mail, unlimited open up scan, five pages per month. How's that unlimited? That's confusing to me. Uh, for each shipping bundle is $5 as opposed to $1. So here's the thing. This company, as well as um, iPostal One, there's like all kinds of different bits that they charge you for. And each one of the addresses is going to have a different pricing scheme. Some of them will have unlimited or it's all included. And some of them will charge you this, 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 this. You got to figure out what are you going to use, whether or not this makes sense for you. So for example, this is $2 per visit for local pickup, but you can do local pickup where another on an address, you can't do local pickup at all. So let's go over to iPostal one and look at their locations. So we're gonna look in California. We're gonna look in San Francisco, just to compare apples to apples, San Francisco. Okay, they have eight locations in San Francisco. They actually have little pictures of where they are. And then they have information what's available, $9, $19, $40, which I think it's because it's in Gary Street on the 15th floor, $20, $9, $19, $29, $19, $19, $19.99. So you can see very, very different. Let's choose this middle price one, Sutter Street. All right, so you have different levels 
which can include mailing address and virtual office. By the way, this I'm not going to be talking about virtual office services in this video. That'll be another video where I talk about the pluses and minuses of just having a virtual mailbox versus a virtual office. So what actually is included? Let's click, click the select plan and see what you get. Virtual mailing address plans and pricing. You can also get phone and fax apparently. All plans from this one get all these different things. So this is a little bit more standardized. So you get four recipient names plus one company per address, five recipient names per address, shipping to unlimited address with some insurance, 30 days of storage, and then 10 days and five days if it's like much larger box. And then optional services, then they have all kinds of nickel and diming for little things, even including faxing and stuff like that. So this is what I'm saying is which one of these makes sense for you really depends on do you need something in person? Where you want the address to be? What kind of mail do you get? What other services do you need? I When I've selected these, it's really been based on I need everything to be virtual. I need everything to be relatively quick. And I do not want to get nickel and dimed on the things I use. So I get mail and I have them scan things and I have them shred things. I definitely want them to shred things and I want them to forward things to me. For my law firm, I don't get boxes. I haven't gotten boxes in a very, very long time. I can't, I don't know, maybe I've never gotten boxes. But I do get FedExes and UPSs on occasion. I definitely get things that are oversized, but they're all envelope kind of based mail. That may not be true for you. You may get boxes. And so you may need some kind of virtual mailbox service that can forward boxes to you or where you can pick things up in person. And in some cases, it may make more sense for you to either use a UPS store or post office, or for you even to use another kind of service that is specifically about processing returns. And I'll talk about that in some future video. So of these three, my general recommendation is that look at you look at Anytime Mailbox, iPostal One, and even other virtual mailbox services, because there's new ones launching all the time, and you see what is the exact addresses that are available that you want? How are those address dresses written? Because I definitely don't like addresses that have a, that are super, super long. Like I don't want number, street name, suite number, and then unit number. That's way too long. You're not gonna be able to type it in all kinds of forms. It looks sketchy. Versus number, street name, and then a unit number, which is your box. That is a much better address in my opinion. I think it works much better when you type it into forms. And then what exact services you need, how much you're going to use them for that specific one. The downside of Anytime Mailbox and iPostal One is the lack of security in the sense that someone is going through your mail and scanning the outside at least. Now, you tell them whether or not they open it. So you don't have to have them open up anything. You could have them forward everything to you. You know, every week, every month, have them forward all of your mail to you. And then you just have them shred things that you know are junk mail. So you can manage the security issues if you're not comfortable with somebody else opening up your mail. If you want someone to do it in a centralized facility, then Earth Class Mail, which is now owned by LegalZoom, might be a good option. Otherwise, if you want the most control over your mail, then you would either go with a PO box or UPS store box or some other in-person mailbox service. So that way no one is scanning your mail or looking at it except for you. Again, this is Attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll try to point you in the right direction. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have even more questions or you'd like to connect further, you can join the Patreon or sign up for the free Discord. Links are below. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.